Hello and welcome back to my channel. Of course, I'm the first year business coach and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how I create one month of content for my business. Now the very first step that I normally do is I pick a theme for the month. And basically I pick one of my core topics. I have a total of, I wanna say five or six and I recycle those throughout the year. So I'll pick the topic that I wanna cover. Like for example, this month, I'm gonna be covering content planning. I'm gonna be doing all things, talking about how you plan out your content, how you schedule your content and stuff like that. So that's my theme. And then after I pick my theme, and step two is reviewing how many pieces of content I'm gonna need for that month. So I actually have a posting schedule where I know how many YouTube videos I need per month. I know how many podcast episodes I need per month. Shameless plug, if you have not subscribed to my podcast YouTube channel, I will highly suggest you do that. I post content over there as well. And I will link it in one of the icons above. I don't know which side it's on. It's a business podcast so that you can also get more tips and stuff over there. But I know how many podcasts I need. I know how many TikToks or Reels or Instagram posts that I need for the month. And once I get that number, then I can move on to step three. So step three is basically brainstorming your ideas. Now, this becomes easier once you start recycling your content, right? And I'm gonna go in more depth about how to recycle content and repurpose content in a later video. But during your brainstorming process, you're just coming up with ideas. So now you know how many YouTube videos you need, you know how many podcast episodes you need, you know how many TikToks and Reels you need to need, you, you know you need to need, that was like a tongue twister. And now you're just gonna map out all of the different ideas that you can come up with in that topic. One of the quick tips that I will give you for how I do it is, I think about the buyer's journey or I think about my audience's journey, right? And so the very first thing I think about is what type of pain point topics can I cover? What are their struggles? What are the pain points that they're dealing with on a daily basis within this topic? And then I try to put down all of the content ideas I can come up with for that. Also, what mistakes are they making? What type of myths are they following or that they're thinking is true that's in this category that I need to bust for them? That's the first type of content that I brainstorm. And then the next one is like the next step, which now you know your pain point, you know, you realize, okay, this is a struggle that I'm having now. What's the next thing? How do I fix this? And so then I brainstorm the solution-based content. So this is the how-tos, the step-by-steps, the, the tips, like anything like that. Then I brainstorm how many things I can come up with that. After I brainstorm that category, I brainstorm the next step category, whether that be what type of content is gonna lead to the pitch of my sale, or it can even be like tutorial based. Like some, some stuff I will include a tutorial if it's not a part of my pitch in my package or my program or something like that then I will create content that will either talk about what my product is, go over Q&As or frequently asked questions and stuff like that. Also keep in mind during this process, I do brainstorm my call to action. So I brainstorm my call to action in multiple parts, but that's, that's like more of a business side. But what I mean by call to action is what products am I going to be leading them to, whether it be a freebie, a lead magnet, or rather it be a paid products. So I never want to go over a topic without having the audience or my potential buyer going to something that's going to help them solve the problem within my product or within my program or something like that. And then that leads me to the last step, step four, and that's when I actually add it to my content calendar. This is when I am I'm done planning out my content. I know what content ideas I've come up with. I've already decided what's gonna be a podcast episode, what's gonna be a YouTube video, what's gonna be a TikTok or a reel, and now I'm adding them into my content calendar. Now, there are many ways to make a content calendar, and I'm gonna create a video specifically on how to create a content calendar, but I have personally started using a platform called ClickUp. I absolutely love ClickUp. I just found ClickUp maybe like less than a month ago and I completely transitioned my content calendar over to ClickUp. It's so much easier to manage, but 
Some people do a calendar, like a physical calendar where they're putting it on there. You can also use like a Google calendar if you prefer to put your stuff on there. It's really up to you where you put your content calendar, but please make sure you have a content calendar because you need to know what day your YouTube videos are going out. You need to know what day your podcast episodes are going out if you have a podcast. You also need to know what days you're going to be posting on other social media platforms, whether that be Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or whatever. And so that way you can visually see it every single day. Like, okay, I need to be working on this. I need to be working on this because it needs to go out by next Monday or next Tuesday or whatever. Quick tip. Make sure when you are creating your content calendar that you are including post dates, the days that you're actually posting the content on your platforms. And also make sure you include recording dates. This is, I think, a step that a lot of people neglect and they just think, okay, I'm going to post every Monday, but they don't have a set day where they know they're going to record their videos. And then you'll find yourself falling behind because you haven't had a chance to record that video and now you're posting off schedule and you know all that kind of stuff so it's great to have a content creation day so that way you know okay if i need to be posting by monday every thursday i'm going to be recording my content so those are just my quick tips and how i actually plan out my one month of content once you do it this way it is super easy to plan out one month two months even three months especially if you're repurposing content because here's the thing once you brainstorm those ideas the first time right and you go through and you create the bullets for all of those pieces of content you launch those pieces of content and you have a content bank which i i keep bringing up words that i'm like oh i'm doing a video on that but once you create your content bank with all of the content that you've already created for yourself then when you come across that topic again for the theme of the month all you have to do is pull the content that you've already recreated from a previous month and just repost that kind of stuff. Now, as far as YouTube videos, you can either update the YouTube video and create another one, or you can add a spin to it and make it a little different, have a slightly different title, but cover the same type of topics. Really easy to do, and it makes your planning process so much smoother. So let me know, how are you currently planning your content for your social media? Are you using a content calendar? Let me know in the comment section below. And if this video was helpful for you, make sure you hit that like button and hit subscribe so that you will see my other content planning videos that I have coming up soon. But until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.